Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Fulton Street Beats. Got an unboxing today. Um, was looking for another bass guitar. Well, kind of to replace the Galeri um, P bass that I kind of built up. And as you all know, that is gone now. So I was looking for something else that was had some quality that oh, not a lot of people have. And I come across this on Amazon. And this is by IYV. For some reason they have IVY up here, but it's by IYV. Um, five string electric bass, natural color. I have seen a few different videos on this. Not a lot, but a few. And it seems like they're... Some people don't um, understand the tones, how they function on this. And that's what I'm curious about. How do they function? So the price of this has jumped up from $150 to $184. And the thing about this particular bass guitar is it's supposed to be all C and C made. Everything. Which means it should be very uniform and have a lot of quality. Um, it means they took out the the uh, imperfections that maybe the human ma hands may have made. You might think differently of that, but some of us do like CNC made things. Um, and even right down to the pickups are supposed to be CNC wound. Let's open this and see what we got. First, I want to check the outside of the box here. Let's take a peek here and uh, I'll give you some specs. Let me give you some specs on this and I'm going to be all over the place a little bit here. So it says all the guitars are Made by CNC machine with computer programming. Uh, perfect neck with no defects. That's is something, this is what they claim. Um, they all say that all, they all have good specifications. Um, whatever that means, I think they, the descriptions of these may have changed a little bit. So, they're, of course, they're made in Vietnam. I don't see a lot of specifications, but the model... Um, the model is 305, it's, so it's IYV305, IMM-305. So let's check this out. A lot of you have had this brand guitar, and you've been well, pretty satisfied with them. So let's see if their bases are any different. And right on the outside, um, solid bass, electric, natural, natural guitar. And so let's give it a, give it a look and open her up and see what we got. It doesn't look like the box is too badly damaged. Um, you know how that's a crap shoot. Now let's check it out. Okay. Alright, I'm seeing something right now that um, <clears throat> doesn't look right. And, uh, We'll see when we take the plastic off if I'm correct on this. Tightly packaged. And we're going to start right here at the headstock. And this is, an I unbox, I like to look closely. Let's get this box out of here. No, no candy in the box, no nothing like that. Other than a couple of adjustment Allen keys. So let's look right here, starting right here with the headset. Now right away, what I'm seeing is lots of slung compound, polished compound. Um, and that's what it is. It has an impeccable finish on the, on the headstock. Very stout, sturdy looking. Um, nickel wound strings. Very nice nut. <clears throat> And um, appears to be a nice fretboard. I mean, we're just going, I'm going to go over this slowly. And I want to show this to you guys too as we go here. I'm going to look it over. And then we got the open scholar type tuners. We have a serial number, individually serial numbered, so that's good. Tuners appear to be okay. Um, where the neck meets the headstock, it's very smooth. There's no tooling marks or anything like that. Keep in mind, 
entirely CNC machined. So that's why I'm going over this a little bit differently than we normally would. So let's peel off this plastic. So I want to check this thing out from head to toe, and I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> it's the it's a different color than what was ordered. Wow. Okay. That's a sunburst. This is a heavy base, guys. It's very heavy. Very stout. Very heavy. It's astonishing fretwork. It has amazing fretwork. I don't feel any sharp fret ends. They're very, very nice. It is not the color I ordered. Natural is the color I ordered. I'll try to put a picture up if you guys can't see this when I do the playback. Um, definitely a high mass bridge. Um, and a pretty stout looking pickup. And right away I noticed that your, your tone knobs and your volume knobs. So this should be three tones and one volume. And I have a theory on why they have done this that nobody's really touched base on yet. Another pun. Um, and these knobs are recessed into the body, so they're literally sitting into the into a cavity, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. But um, the color is not what I ordered, and it could be a problem for me, and I'll tell you why here in a second. Let's look at the back. There we go. I'll give you guys a shot. What do you think of the color, guys? Um, this is a shock to me. I don't think I've ever seen this color on this base. So I'm going to have to do some research and look into that. The action is, if it plays right, boy, the action is low. It might be on, guys. Beautiful in the back, almost like a deep, deep, dark red mahogany. It's got a little scratch here on the neck, but nothing terrible. Um, and this does, this neck has, has six bolts that hold it on. Um, there's compound slung inside of the uh, cavity for the, for the screws. But the base is, I have to say, the base looks incredible. It just needs a little cleanup work. So must be they polish these things after they're together, I'm going to guess. And I think that the scratch on this little, on the neck right here, and it is a natural kind of finished neck. I think it's got probably a coat of poly over it. But uh, I think that little itty bitty, you can't barely notice it. I, I am noticing it because I'm looking right at it. But um, I'm pretty sure that that's probably from the polish machine and they accidentally touched that right there. Let's uh, open up this cavity and have a look at the wiring and the pots in this thing. Because it's got me really curious. I don't have my electric screw gun right here, but I am very curious about this. The, the, it looks... The, <laughs> so I'm not sure what they say. They said that this was a very... Like a base wood or, or bass wood, I'm sorry. Um, but it's not. There's no way it is because it weighs too much. The base simply weighs too much. The body of this base is too heavy to be the wood that they claim it is. Once again, a case of a manufacturer not knowing what uh, what wood they're using. and It's very frustrating. Not, I mean, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that we're getting a nice heavy wood, but exactly what is it? I think they said it was poplar. Definitely not poplar. Definitely not. I'm a drum builder. I know what poplar is. You deal with it all the time. It's very light. It's very resonant, but it's very light. The screw is very tight, and I'm trying not to strip it on the... Uh... There we go. Yeah, we got compound everywhere on this thing, so it's definitely compounded after it's made. I'm not complaining about the base. I don't mind cleaning up a base, especially when the price of this base was actually 150 bucks. Now they have went up. So, but uh, this base right here, I've never seen before. So how's our wiring? <clears throat> well, 
We have dime-sized pots, and that's to be expected. Um, red chiclets for pills, and it is paint shielded. Okay, let you see in there. It is paint shielded. And I can't read right now what the pots say. I will try to get them apart for you in an upcoming episode and tell you. Um, so we have... Okay. I don't believe this is tone, tone, tone. And if it is, it's a weird setup. Because we have two pills and two pots without pills. So maybe they've done something different with this one. Maybe this is set up differently from the others. It's a different color, so maybe they got something different. Um, I don't know what they're doing. I need to, we have a, I do have another issue, and I know I'm rambling. I wasn't going to do this unboxing video. It just literally just came, and I said, well, I'm here. Let me show you guys exactly what it is, because, well, it's cool, right? And it reminds you of a, of a, of a music man. Definitely has the shape of a music man bass. And it is a five string. Which is also pretty cool. And I personally have never played a five string. So this will be a first for me. As I have, an, I have had a lot of firsts lately. So I'm just going to kind of get these started here. And then I'm going to flip it back over. And we'll take a, take a little closer look at the front. And um, the screw right here is a little tighter than the rest. Which tells me that they didn't pre-drill. They just tapped which is fine it keeps them nice and tight just be careful when you're taking them apart okay so let's look at this thing we have a the amazingly low action high mass bridge it looks like a quality pickup dime size pots recessed in supposed to be volume tone 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 who knows we may have two volumes and two tones don't ask me how they have it wired i don't know the fret board is outstanding the frets are Shiny, but not overly polished, but nice. The fretboard is outstanding. The fret works outstanding. The nuts cut nice, as far as I can tell. And the finish is, well, impeccable. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And what's very strange is this appears to be one piece. So, probably machined out of one piece. Which is neat. Very beautiful green. And it's, I guess I have a kind of a curse for guitars that are sunburst because I keep acquiring them. And I kind of always try to avoid them, but they keep making their way to me. Now, I have a dilemma. Because I thought this was the natural that was coming. And it should have been. And I guess I could contact Amazon and have me send me the natural. But I don't know. Do we like this? Do we like this bass? Is this a good looking bass? Heavy bass. I think it was tested because it's not far out. Um, but here's my dilemma I've purchased something else for the natural bass. A pit guard. And I bought the pit guard as a four string pit guard to do some modification to show you how to modify a pit guard to fit a five string base. So, what is the deal? Okay, problem is this pit guard's supposed to be blue, a pearl blue to go on the natural finish. And there it is. And it is like a blue finish, almost a purplish. Music Man style with the screws. And I knew I was going to have to modify a bit. But guess what? That now modifying a little bit for the pickup, which actually isn't too bad. I guess I could make that happen. Um turns out to be modifying a lot because it's blue and I don't know how that blue is going to look on there it may look like well I could probably still modify it but it might look like Walt Disney threw up 
I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me what you think. Do you like the color? Do you like the sunburst? Is it cool? Why don't we look it up to see if we can find a sunburst? IYV. Why I got you right here. Why don't we do that? Let's, uh, let's see if we can find this base in a sunburst. Because this is the first one I've seen. And, uh, I don't know. Let's see here. No. These are not IYVs. There we go. IYV, Amazon, IVY, Amazon. Uh, what do we got here? I am not seeing this bass guitar. Let's go to Google Images. And there is nothing, there is nothing. There is just the natural finish one in this model. Natural finish. If any of you out there have this base in this color, please drop it in the comment section below. And I'm probably going to send the pit guard back and see if I can find something different and a little more appropriate in color. And uh, I still want to go with a pit guard I can modify to make fit because that's what we do here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of these. There's just nothing out there even in the image search. So, um, yeah, maybe when, if we go to their website, we could find something. I'm not sure. Hmm. This is it different? Maybe we have to keep it just because it's rarity. Anyhow, guys, next time you see this, we'll be playing it. We will be, and I didn't mean to bore you to death. I apologize if I did, but I want to bring you everything in real time. Like I said, no fluff. It is what it is. We're going to see exactly what these pots do. We're going to see how it's wired. We're going to see how it plays, but I'm really impressed with this fretboard. And if I, if I don't seem really excited, well, it's because I'm thrown off. I wasn't expecting this color. I had a... I had an idea and a plan, and my plan was foiled. But was it foiled in a good way? I think I would have preferred it in the natural finish, personally. But and it's just because I have so many, can't see, but I have so many sunburst finishes. But it's a very classic look, I guess. But this is definitely going to need, if I stick with this color, a classy Pearl Lloyd pit guard for sure. Thank you for watching Fulton Street Beats. And if you like this video, hit like, share, subscribe, stay right there. I'm going to give you some close-ups of this thing before we part. And uh, remember, it's rock and roll that makes the world go round. Thanks, guys. Bye.